Hey everyone, uh, Kevin here from We're the Roberts. Uh, today we're going to talk about the 42 gallon Barker tote tank. Uh, this is the one that we bought on Amazon back in March of this year, uh, 2020. And so far we've had absolutely no problems with it, but that's not where this story begins. So we've been living in our camper full time since August of 2017. And back then we bought our first 42 gallon Barker tote uh, from Amazon. Now, at that time we were staying at a campground in North Florida uh, where we had full hookups. We had water, electric and sewer. So the tote just kind of sat around and didn't do much. But in March of 2018, we moved to a home base uh, where we didn't have a sewer hookup. So what that meant was, was we needed to start using our Barker a lot more often to empty our waste tanks. Well, the reason for today's video is we're gonna discuss a very serious problem that we had with our first tote and a solution that we come up with that hopefully is gonna prevent the same problem from ever happening again, especially with the new tote, uh, because these totes aren't cheap. Well, like I said, we use our Barker tote at least once or twice a week to empty the waste tanks. So we probably use it quite a bit more often than the traditional RVer. Okay, the way that I move uh, the tote from our home base to the sewer clean out that we dump at is with our lawnmower. I put a one and seven eighths tow ball on the back of the lawnmower to attach the tote to so I can tow it down the driveway a heck of a lot easier. Uh, the clean out that we go to is probably about a thousand yards away. Okay, so let's get on with the rest of the story. Uh, back in March of this year, um, I was doing my normal thing, draining the tanks, and I successfully drained the black tank, and I was able to flush the black tank also. I then drained the gray tank and was in the process of pulling the Barker to the sewer clean out. When I turned around, I realized that the tank had developed a major leak. Fortunately, when this happened, I was toting gray water. Otherwise, this video could be about something totally different. I stopped. And I looked closer at the tank and realized that the water was coming out very fast and I wasn't able to really do anything about it. Now, after the water stopped gushing out, I picked the tote up and instantly found the leak. I saw a huge crack that had spread all the way across the front of the front wheel assembly plate that attaches the wheels to the tank itself. Now, we believe the reason for this crack is pretty simple. Think about it like this. When you're pulling a full tank of water down a road, and you're turning back and forth, the corners of that wheel assembly plate are digging into that plastic. And plastic's plastic. It's just a matter of time before that metal either cuts a hole or puts so much pressure on that plastic that it creates a crack. In our case, the crack was huge and it was not repairable. This is actually a picture of the Barker that failed on us. Obviously the crack wasn't this severe when it happened, this is kind of as a result of my crude effort uh, to use plastic weld to try to fix it. And I'm not a very good plastic welder, obviously. <laughs> well, in this photo, you can see the front wheel assembly is attached uh, to the tank with four bolts. The solution we came up with was to merely increase the footprint of the plate on the plastic tank, which will hopefully in theory spread the load across a larger surface. Now the plate that they use to attach the wheels to the tank is not very big and this solution will fix the problem. Well, we decided to fabricate a larger plate in the shape of a T uh, to help spread the load. We started off by measuring the original plate, which was six by eight inches. Uh, we cut the new plate in a way that would extend beyond the original plate. I removed the front wheel assembly by removing the four bolts. I did have to buy larger bolts uh, to attach both plates to the tank. You'll see that later on. The new bolts are, they're one inch long, uh, quarter inch number 20 stainless steel bolts. Well, the material that I decided to use for the plate was just simple quarter inch aluminum plating. I cut the new plate uh, on a bandsaw. After I cut the plate out on the bandsaw, I then grinded the sharp edges down to prevent the new plate from cutting into the tank after it was assembled. I then lined up the old plate and I punched the center uh, of each bolt hole and then I drilled those holes out uh, with a drill. 
After making sure everything fit together like it should, I just simply assembled the new plate onto the uh, tank and reattached the original plate uh, in the front wheel assembly with the new bolts that I purchased. This is what the final assembly looks like, but you can see the new plate extends well beyond the original plate. Uh, but I think I could have made it even bigger, maybe by an inch or so all the way around. All in all, uh, this was a really simple modification and I hope it solves the problem. Now I could be totally wrong uh, in the reason for the failure because I'm not an engineer or anything like that, but it seems to make sense to me that spreading out the load uh, would help at least a little bit. I'll use it for a while, maybe do an update a video or even a simple post to let you know if it really helped or not. Uh, but I appreciate y'all watching today. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. And let me know in the comments your thoughts, uh, whether you think it's gonna help or not, or if you've uh, maybe had the same problem uh, with your Barker in the past. But anyway, God bless. See you next time.